Hey, it's Wednesday, day before Thanksgiving. It's a good day. Good day to be thankful. Just like any other day, right? Thank you, God, for sending your only son to die for us. Thank you, Jesus, for what you went through, for being obedient to the Father, for the rejection that you took. The same people that you came to save nailed you to a cross. You died a criminal's death for us. Forgiveness was your crime, Lord. We're thankful. We're thankful for the Holy Spirit. We're thankful for you, Holy Spirit. For your presence here right now. Thank you for guiding us. Guiding us into good things. Thank you for your comfort. Thank you for everything. We love you, Holy Spirit. So yeah, I just got back from that day before Thanksgiving grocery grocery shopping. I don't usually like that very much, but I do like getting out amongst the people, uh, looking for looking for people to talk to and stuff. Usually, if we're walking with the Lord, He'll lead us into something if we're concentrated on what He wants, not just wandering around with our head in the clouds, but like actually intention to do something good. Something good usually comes. The hard part is staying concentrated like that. But um, but yeah, he usually leads me into something good every time we go out. But today I seen this guy, uh, I was at Costco and I seen this guy that I was in prison with in 2016. Came up and gave him a little half hug. Hey, how's it going, man? <clears throat> I, said, I said, I've been sober for two and a half years and, and uh, he said, I, he said, really cool. He said, I got four now. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome, bro. I said, yeah, I've been walking with the Lord and it's been amazing. He's so good. I didn't know what kind of response I was going to get, but I got a good one. He's like, yeah, glory to God. Yeah, what would we do without him? This and that. And we talked for about a half hour, uh, blocking the aisle, kept having to move and people walking through, but got to pray with him right there. And, and uh, yeah, it was good. We exchanged numbers, and he's like, man, you made my day, you know, and he was happy. I was happy. Uh, we split ways finally, and, and uh, then a little bit later after that, I was putting the groceries away in the car, and uh, and this lady came out of the woods uh, right there by where we were parked. She didn't look like she was on drugs or anything. She looked pretty normal, but she needed help. She wanted money, you know, of course. But um, anyway, but I said, hey, can I pray with you? And, uh, and she goes, yeah. And then right after she said that, she just started crying. So I went and gave her a hug and held on to her and, and prayed with her. And, and uh, you know, it was good. She, uh, she, she was mad at God. And uh, so anyway, that was good. I, she told me her whole story. And, and, uh, but she was just thankful. I gave her my number in case she needed a friend or something or whatever. But, um, and then this other guy came running up. Hey, did I just see you guys praying? That's awesome. So I was, I was going to pray with him, but but she was uh, she was she was still talking, and my mom was waiting in the car, ready to go. So I was just like, you guys can uh, finish off this conversation here. I gotta go. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's good. It was a good grocery uh, grocery shopping trip. So, but yeah. D- I just wanted to share that, but early, uh, you know, earlier, you know, the Lord's been cutting some things out of my life here lately that I that I don't like, you know, and, and uh, it's been kind of rough to give those things up, you know, it's just like, Lord, come on, you know, and, uh, you know, today I was thinking about one of those, and, and, uh, And he kind of brought brought into remembrance this. The, um, he did bring into remembrance the the story of Abraham and Isaac. You know, Abraham uh, sacrificed. Went to you know when he was asked to sacrifice his his son. Let me read it real quick. Sometime later, God tested Abraham's faith. Abraham, God called. Yes, he replied. Here I am. Take your son, your only son. Yes, Isaac, whom you love so much, and go to the land of Moriah. Go and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I will show you. The next morning, Abraham got up early. He saddled his donkey and took two of his servants with him, along with his son Isaac. Then he chopped wood for a fire for a burnt offering and set out for the place God had told him about. On the third day of their journey, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. 
Stay here with the donkey, Abraham told the servants. The boy and I will travel a little bit farther. We will worship there and then we will come right back. So Abraham placed the wood for the burnt offering on Isaac's shoulders while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them walked on together, Isaac turned to Abraham and said, Father, yes, my son. Abraham replied, we have the firewood, the boy said, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? God will provide a sheep for the burnt offering, my son, Abraham answered. And they both walked on together. And when they arrived at the place where God had told him to go, Abraham built an altar and arranged the wood on it. Then he tied his son Isaac and laid him to the altar on top of the wood. And Abraham picked up the knife to kill his son as a sacrifice. At that moment, the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Yes, Abraham replied, here I am. Don't lay a hand on the boy, the angel said. Don't, don't hurt him in any way, for now I know that you truly fear God. You have not withheld from me even your only son. Then Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught, in the, caught by its horns in a thicket. So he took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the place Yahweh Yahweh, which means the Lord will provide. To this day, people still use that name as Proverbs as a proverb on the mountain of the lord will be provided then the angel of the lord called again to abraham from heaven this is what the lord says because you have obeyed me and have not withheld even your son your only son i swear by my own name that i will certainly bless you i will multiply your descendants beyond number like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore your descendants will conquer the cities of their enemies and through your descendants, all the nations of the earth will be blessed, all because you have obeyed me. Genesis 22, 1 through 18. So, but I just got to thinking about where Abraham, what he became after he made that sacrifice. And when we make those sacrifices, we know that big, big rewards await. You know, uh, Abraham. You know, he received fame and divine protection. He was rich with livestock and silver and gold. His rewards were both physical and spiritual. God said, I will make nations of you and kings shall come from you. So, um, but yeah, that's, you know, we know him as like the most faithful guy in the Bible. You know, when we think of great people of faith, it's, it's him. You know, and, and, uh, He's known as the father of faith. And God's spiritual promise to Abraham was the coming of Jesus Christ. Though he never got to actually see it, he did, however, see it afar off from faith when God spared Isaac. And Jesus said, Abraham saw my day and was glad. That's John 8, 56. So now, now we have, uh, through faith in Christ, we received the promises too. We're the descendants, the spiritual descendants of Abraham. So um, that's but that's pretty cool, though. Just uh, what 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 became of him because he was because he was willing to do whatever for the Lord. So when we do that, we know, especially when it's something big, we know something big is coming uh, in return for that sacrifice, for that obedience. So. So if you're ever having to give anything up, just think about the reward that's going to come. You know, that's, uh, it, it feels good to do that when you give up something that you, that you want, you know, and, and uh, you say, okay, well, whatever, Lord, this ain't my son, but this is, <laughs> this is important to me. Nothing like, nothing like going through and killing his son, but, but uh, some of these things are pretty big, you know, that the Lord's asking us to, to put down, so. If he's doing that with you, just know that, that the reward is going to be great. Not just in heaven, but in this life as well. So thank you, Lord, for for uh, for everything that you do, that we can trust in you. And a lot of things, he want, yeah, he wants us to put things down because he's got something better. So Lord, we just trust you. Just continue to guide us. We want your will to be done, and we're we're just so thankful here on Thanksgiving, and and uh, let's bless my friends right here in Jesus' name. All right, y'all. Bye.